cybersecurity in the industrial environment. Protection of the OT area. Bastion facilities. Peripheral defense and defense in depth. It is necessary to distinguish between peripheral or bastion defense and defense in depth. Defense at the edge or bastioning and defense in depth are terms used in the field of computer security to describe two different approaches to protecting a system or network. While bastioning refers to the practice of securing a system by limiting its attack surface. Defense in depth refers to the practice of implementing multiple layers of security to protect a system or network each providing an additional barrier that attackers must overcome to access a protected resource. Hardening is a security practice that aims to reduce the attack surface of a system or network by limiting the services and functionalities that are available to users and applications. By limiting the number of entry and exit points, the possibility that an attacker can exploit a vulnerability in the system and access sensitive information or resources is reduced. Some common hardening techniques include disabling unnecessary services. Every active service on a system can represent a potential vulnerability. Therefore, it is advisable to disable any service that is not necessary for system operations. Implementing security policies. Strict security policies should be put in place to control access to the services and functionalities that are available. For example, authentication credentials may be required to access certain services or access to network resources may be limited based on the user's role or access level. Keeping the operating system and applications up to date. It is important to keep the operating system and installed applications up to date with security updates. This helps ensure that known vulnerabilities are patched. Firewall configuration. A firewall can be used to control incoming and outgoing network traffic by blocking access to certain ports and protocols that are not necessary. Restricting user permissions. It is advisable to limit user permissions to prevent users from accessing resources or sensitive information that they do not need to perform their tasks. In general, implementing hardening techniques helps reduce the risk of system security being compromised and minimize the impact of a successful attack. However, it is important to note that there is no one-size-fits-all solution to security and that implementing additional security measures, such as defense in depth, can further improve system or network security. In addition to the techniques mentioned above, there are other practices that can be implemented to strengthen system or network security through hardening, some of which are system monitoring. Constant system monitoring can help identify suspicious or unauthorized activities and take preventative measures to prevent potential attacks. Monitoring tools can be used to log system events, analyze patterns, and generate alerts when anomalous behavior is detected. System security configuration. It is important to ensure that the system is configured securely. This may include disabling outdated or insecure network protocols, enforcing password security policies, implementing access controls, setting file and directory permissions, and more. Patch and update management. Proactive management of security patches and updates is critical to keeping the system free of known vulnerabilities. Processes and procedures should be established to assess updates, test them before deploying them to production, and apply them in a timely manner. Vulnerability scanning. It is advisable to perform vulnerability scans on a regular basis to identify and remediate potential security risks on the system. 
This may include port and service scans, penetration testing, and application security assessments, training and awareness. Staff training and awareness is essential to strengthening system security. Training programs should be provided to ensure that staff have a good understanding of security policies, computer security practices and online security best practices. Defense in depth is a security strategy that seeks to implement multiple layers of protection on a system or network with the goal of minimizing the risk of a successful cyber attack. This strategy is based on the idea that no single layer of security is perfect and that multiple layers of defense can provide more effective protection against attacks. Some of the common defense in depth techniques include Secure Network Perimeter A secure network perimeter is a defense in depth technique that involves creating a security perimeter on the network. This is achieved by implementing a firewall and configuring rules that control access to network resources and restrict incoming and outgoing traffic. Network Segmentation Network segmentation is another defense in depth technique that involves creating multiple logical networks within the network. Each network segment is divided into different subnets and configured with different levels of security, allowing traffic between segments to be controlled and reducing the impact of an attack. Endpoint protection Endpoint protection is a defense in depth technique that focuses on securing network endpoints such as workstations, servers, and mobile devices. This is achieved by implementing security software such as antivirus and firewall, as well as security policies that set rules for device management and security configuration. Security monitoring. Security monitoring is another defense in depth technique that involves constantly monitoring the network for potential threats. This is achieved by implementing monitoring and analysis tools such as SIEM, Security Information and Event Management, and IDS, Intrusion Detection System. Incident Response Incident response is a defense in depth technique that involves implementing an incident response plan to quickly address potential security incidents. This includes identifying, containing, eliminating, and recovering from a security incident. In the industrial environment, defense in depth is a key strategy to protect critical systems and equipment used in production and manufacturing. These systems can include process controllers, sensors, supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA, systems, and other network devices that are critical to plant operation. Implementing a defense in-depth strategy in an industrial environment may include segmenting the network into different security zones, controlling user access and authentication and constantly monitoring the network for potential threats. Techniques such as hardening, which involves hardening systems and devices to minimize the risk of an attack, may also be used. In addition, in the industrial environment, defense in-depth also involves implementing physical security measures, such as surveillance cameras, access control systems, and intrusion detection systems. These physical security measures are combined with logical security measures to protect critical systems and reduce the risk of an attack. In conclusion, in the industrial environment, defense in depth is essential to protect critical systems and equipment used in production and manufacturing. Implementing a defense in depth strategy helps reduce the risk of a successful cyber attack and minimize the impact of a security incident on plant operations.